is why I hustle. This is why I grind. This is why I work. And I ain't hustling for nothing. This is why I hustle. This is why I grind. This is why I work. I ain't hustling for nothing. This is why I hustle. This is why I grind. This is why I work. It's wake up time. Uh. All right, let's go, let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all feel this morning? All right, let's go ahead. So I'm excited that you guys are on this call this morning. I'm pumped up. We're in this series, all right, Ecuador, Trinidad, Japan. Okay, Japan, wow. Okay, we, we all over the globe with it, let's go. So this your man, Words Taylor, your motivational storyteller. It's wake up time, let's get it. Ugh, salute to the dream builders. How y'all feeling this morning? All right, so listen, we're talking about, we're in this series, Be Great or Stay Home, and this is actually the last installment with 12 videos in on this series. Also, you know, in this series, I just released the PDF of my best-selling book for free if you have not gotten that yet what are you waiting for why are you missing out on this goodness why i take you through a 30-day journey and i'm gonna take you from here to here only thing you got to do is go to wordstaylor.com backslash dream challenge that's one word dream challenge wordstaylor.com backslash dream challenge you're in the 30-day challenge i love it so all right so we're in this series called be great or stay home be great or stay home and let me let me just wrap this up to you and, the, and then the final message is going to be like please don't stay home please don't choose to stay home all right but what i'm wrapping up is like every day you wake up let me tell you all something every day you wake up you have two choices you can either choose to command your day to own your day and be great when you walk out that house and know that you are who you are, know that you are who you want to be, who you're striving to be. You have that choice to do that or you have the choice to be average. And if you and I'm saying in this series, if you're going to choose to be average, you, know, you might as well stay at home because when you walk out the door, you're not going to get the results that you're trying to get because you're choosing to be average already. You're, you, you've you said already, well, I'm going to choose to be average. I'm going to still walk out the door. That means, boom, day over. No results. Boom. No progress. Boom. And then you're going to make everybody else day miserable because you got to look at, I always tell my daughter, like, baby, why you got to, we went to the park the other day and I'm like, baby, why all the kids around you, why you the only one with the stinky face right now? You got, why, why your face scrunched up? And I told her like, yo, find, find me another, find me another stinky face at the playground. And she couldn't. And I'm like, baby, come on. And so that's what I'm telling you. Like, yo, don't walk around with the stinky face. You're going to ruin somebody else's day like you walking around with the stinky face. So what I mean by today, and when I say, please don't stay home, I mean just this. Yo, your greatness, and I know this may sound like the most cliche statement you've ever heard. There's greatness inside of you. Please don't choose to stay home. Don't ever choose to be mediocre. Don't ever choose to be average. Why? Because, yo, you've already went through pain. You've went through so much pain in your life, and then you're going to still choose to stay home? You're going to choose to still be average? Like, I've, I've, I've went through too much in my life to not be great, to not walk out the door and be like, yo, I'm going to choose greatness this morning. Please don't choose to stay home. Don't choose to allow your fear to take control. Don't choose to allow that doubt to take control like you've already been told you can't. Don't prove them right. Prove you like, yo, you need to walk out that door every morning just to prove you right. Prove to, prove to yourself that, no, I am great. I am beautiful and smart and intelligent. My ideas are worthy. I am everything that I thought I could be. I am that now. Please don't choose to stay home. Don't choose to be average. Don't choose to listen to the people that told you you couldn't. Don't choose to look at the disconnect notices that you're getting or the late notices because I know that feeling. I know what it's like. It's like, yo, if I'm going to go through all this and I'm still going to choose to go home, You've been through pain. You've been fired from jobs. You're going to jobs that you hate on a daily basis. You get into it with your bosses. There are people that just hate on you at your job for no reason. And you're going to choose to stay home? Don't choose to stay home. Choose 
If you have the choice, choose greatness every single time because this is the thing. No one can ever be greatness. Why? Because greatness, you're always adjusting. Remember, go back through the whole series. I told you we're always adjusting. We're patient. We Mayweather in the game. We got 12, 20. We, we, we fight. We practice 24 rounds just to battle 12. That's why you can't be Mayweather. Mayweather comes to the fight like, yo, this is going 12 rounds. The other boxers think it's only going four. Mayweather's like, man, this is going 12 rounds. Yo, your stamina can't stand up to me. Your stamina. Like, yo, so you can't, you can't, you can't fight me? How you gonna fight me when you can't even breathe in round seven? You can't, you can't breathe. So I'm telling you guys right now, I know what that pain is like. So you mean to tell me like I gotta lose my house? Like, that was a point where I, I don't know if I told you guys this before, where, listen, literally, when, when I, I didn't have a job, I had to go back to the, to the job that j just fired me, right? I had to go back to the job that fired me and get him to sign a slip so I can now apply for food stamps. Like, you mean to tell, I got to be stripped down like that and you think I'm still going to stay home? You think I ain't going to fight for greatness? I got I to gotta ask my job, my wife's job to, yo, can we get a pay cut? Because they said she made too much money for us to get food stamps, to get assistance. She made $50 too much money. So we had to go and ask her job for a pay cut so we can get help. So I'm like, yo, you asking me to cut money so we can get some money, so we can get some assistance when I got to walk into checking the cash every other week to pay them back, when I got to look at my accountants in a negative and all of these, I got to go through all this pain. You think I'm still going to stay home? You going through all the pain already. Like if you're doing network marketing and all of these things, people have told you it's a scam. People have told you it ain't going to work. People have doubted you. They're not going to believe in you. And you're going to choose to stay home? Please don't choose to ever, ever stay home. Like if you got the choice to be great or stay home every day that you wake up, I need you to choose greatness. I need you to choose, choose yourself. When you choose greatness, you are choosing you. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? When you choose greatness, you are choosing you. You are choosing life. You are choosing life more abundantly. You are choosing freedom. There's freedom in choosing you. And I'm telling you this. If you don't choose greatness, then you're choosing them. Who is them? Everybody against you. You're choosing the world. You're choosing to listen to them. You're choosing to beat you. You're choosing to allow them to beat you down. This world has come against you. This world tried to break me and it didn't. Do y'all hear me? Like I, I'm pursuing a dream. I'm pursuing a dream for the last 10 years. And in that, this world wanted to break me and it can't. Why? Because I wake up every single morning and I choose to be great. That's not an option. That's one choice for me. And I tell my daughter and my son the same thing. There's only one choice. I don't have two choices. There is no be great or stay home. There's be great or be great. You be great or I die. Either one. You, you pick. I'm not, I only choose be great every single day. I choose greatness every single You ain't going to have me go through all this pain through this life and experience all of this, all of this shame and all that. And you think, you think I ain't going to get something for it? You you go you gonna get all the way here. You ain't gonna get nothing for it. You gonna you gonna come all of this way. You gonna pay your money. You gonna pay the investment. You gonna do all. You gonna get ridiculed. All of this and then come on. You gonna go through all this and still not have anything to show for it. Come on. I don't care what you're doing in your life right now. Whatever you doing, you better get everything you're supposed to get out of it. You better get, I don't care if you're trying to do a CD, if you want a cooking show, if you, whatever you're trying to do and people have doubted you, you better get something out of it. You better choose greatness every single time. Yo, this has been a phenomenal series. I'm excited about you, man. Your boy is pumped up this morning. So listen, go get that. But I want you all to take my 30 day challenge, wordstaylor.com backslash dream challenge. Let's get it. Yo, this your man, Words Taylor, your motivational storyteller. It's wake up time. Let's go. Ugh.